Good morning and welcome to the College of Humanities and Social Sciences seminar series. I am Selma al Marie, an undergraduate student in the literature program. And today we have a special guest, Dr. Nikolai Vrsov, an associate professor from Monash University. My point today is uh, uh, the question, have we got it right? The story about that is very interesting. The, uh, the concept of ZPD was discovered and suggested and, and introduced by Vygotsky many years ago in last century, in beginning, beginning of 30s, almost 100 years ago. 100 years ago. We have hundreds, thousands of articles and papers and books about ZPD in America, Russia, Europe, Australia, China, Japan, but after 100 years, we still are asking one simple question. ZPD, have we got it right? I don't know any other concept in the world, psychology, in the world science, which being introduced 100 years ago are still bringing us to ask these questions. There is no other example. That's why I decided to share with you these things first. And second, ZPD is not just a concept. It's a, nothing mystical. ZPD is a very practical, very concrete, diagnostical method which helps us, teachers, parents, educators, psychologists to, not to measure, but to evaluate child's development, the level of child's development, to diagnose child's development, but not to diagnose for, for diagnosis. To diagnose child development as a first step which helps us to build the learning strategy which is focused to support child's development. It's like doctors, they are doing diagnosis and then they prescribe medicine. We psychologists should do the same, to diagnose the development in order to build, to help the child to, to, to go to his or her potential. So. That's important. So I'm not going to speak about theoretical concept. I'm going to speak about the practical method. And this is the point. This, this, this diagnostical method being understood correctly will help teachers, parents, educators, psychologists, social workers to have better understanding of every child, what the child can do and what the child is ready to do what are fruits of development, and what are buds of development. And there is a definition, zone of proximal development, or ZPD is the difference between what a learner can do without help and what he or she can do with help. Sometimes they, say, they just say, what I can do with help is ZPD. You see, here is the distance between what I can do without help or I can do with the help. This is just simply what I can do with help. With your help, I can destroy everything. This is the beauty. No, not at all. But this understanding dominates. People are publishing scientific articles based on this. What we see there, the child having a problem in doing something with the computer, copy pasta or something. What happens? Teacher comes, shows the example, they do it together, then teacher leaves, and the child is doing individually. Is there any ZPD here? Yes. Yes. Okay, the answer is yes. Yeah. If you are standing in American tradition, you definitely say yes, because every American professor will say yes. But if we ask Vygotsky, Vygotsky's answer will be no. 
No, because ZPD is not about what, what the child can do together and what the child can do individually. This is just a simple learning. Teacher comes, gives example, and teaches what, how to do things. The, this example has nothing to do with zonal proximal dilemma. Now I'm coming from everyday interpretations to academic interpretations. So, uh, if you look academic journals, not internet, academic journals, you will see that zo zo zonal proximal development is that every child, every moment, has two levels of development. The first level is what the child can do individually. For example, if you give him intellectual tasks, binaire, IQ, so. And the second, another level is what the child can do with the help. We can help the child and say, oh, okay, with the little help, he can do. So these are two levels. And these two levels of what the child can do and what the child cannot do are reproducing, reproducing, reproducing from one paper to another, from one book to another, from one article to another. And now we, many people have an illusion that zonal proximal development is this. But again, when we ask Vygotsky, Vygotsky will come and say, no, this is very primitive and even incorrect interpretation. Okay, so what I'm doing, I'm, I'm destroying the illusions, but sometimes we need, okay? So let's now come to original, let's now come to Vygotsky, what Vygotsky himself said about that. Probably his understanding was the best one, right? So this is the picture and this is the book. This is the book when, where Vygotsky presented and described and defined zonal proximal development. This book is called Umstvenaya Razvitya Procesi Abuchenia, which is mental development or intellectual development of children in the process of learning. And ZPD is a, is a method, it's a diagnostical method which helps every teacher, every parent, every educator clearly identify this potential level, what the child can do under guidance in cooperation today, tomorrow, Metaphorically, tomorrow, in the nearest future, the child will be able to do individually. What is potential now will be actual in the nearest future. It gives, me the, it gives me the tool. It gives me better understanding. I will never get this if I am only using intellectual t tests, binaire or something. Actual is okay. So, but what Vygotsky does, he says that Levels of development, when the child is able to do this and this, are indicators. They are, not, they are not the point, they are indicators. They are indicators of intellectual functions. At the same time, every child has intellectual functions which are already developed. They are fruits of development. And at the same time, every child has some other intellectual functions which are at the, in the beginning of development. They are buds of development. They are flowers of development. They are in the process of maturation. And Vygotsky is saying that checking what the child can do is the door which helps you to understand which functions are already developed. Intellectual. Giving the task the child cannot solve and solving together is an indicator, opens the door for me, which functions are in the process of development. Th and this is what ZPD is. ZPD is the difference between the functions which are developed and functions which are developed. Two areas, not about what, what the child can do. What the child can do is just an indication. Possible development level is determined or depends on functions which are in the process of maturation. Okay? Okay. So, how we identify? We identify level of actual development through the tasks the child can do individually, and we identify the possible development with the help of problems that the child can solve under the guidance and in cooperation. This is the clear logic, very clearly expressed logic. Okay. What depends on what? What is identified by which? 
is the whole Vygotsky's message, is this. This is what Vygotsky wanted to tell us. But the problem is that it was not understood. Remember my, remember my examples? The all examples have, has nothing to do with this. <laughs> Simplification, fragmentation, primitivization, coca colization whatever. Scaffolding is about learning. But zonal proximal development is not about learning. It's about how learning should lead the development, how learning should precede the development, how learning frames the development, how learning shapes the development. By the word learning, I, I don't mean the academic learning. We parents, we all also <laughs> learn children. The idea was totally destroyed, destroyed and replaced by very mechanistic, uh, mechanistic uh, interpretation of scaffolding, which is great. Some children need support in learning. That's OK. No, no worries. No drama. No problem with that. But why you say it's the same as ZPD? No, 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 no. It's not. OK? Oh, uh, I want to show you another example. Are you okay with that? This is my favorite. I will show you how mom and the, bo and the boy interact and how the mom missing the opportunity to develop the child because the mom wants to be a good mom, but the mom doesn't know ZPD. If mom knows ZPD, mom could do something different. And after this video, we will discuss what we can do if we have the situation like this. Ah, okay. I promised to be very practical. This is. I love this boy, and you will love him in, in, in a minute. You see? He puts the up. The toy to the gumboot. Gum okay. <laughs> gum boots. Uh, oh. <gasps> Problem. Where'd it go? Can you get it? <laughs> it's in my gum boot. You dropped it in there. Doesn't work. Get it? <laughs> Where is it? No. Short hand, right? <laughs> you need some help. Um. And look. Up. Oh no. Oh no. Can you get it out? Oh no. Half half job done. Yeah? Back. Ah. <laughs> Piaget, you know, conservation of quantity. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh no. Really? Do you need some help? Can I help you? Oh. Where did it go? <gasps> there it is. No, 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 no. Please. Oh, okay. good. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Okay, so that's the, that's the material.
You see, mom is very good. Mom is not coming immediately to help. Give, gives him time to, to, to try this. Very talkative, very supportive. This is a very high level of communication. Mom is very smart. No, no problem. But if, you, if we interpret this through Piaget, Piaget's lens, you see that at, at this level, child is unable because of, so on which stage Piaget the child is? Three and a half? Huh? Huh? Yeah. Two years old, okay. And what is the stage of development? Piaget, 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 Piaget. How many stages Piaget have? Sensiomot, pre, sens, preparation, sensiomot, or uh, concrete uh, formal. This is a basic ABC of psychology. Okay, I don't want to you to feel shame, but please read again Piaget. Okay, so if you look on this uh, on the on the social learning theory, Bandura. Do you know Bandura social learning? The lesson the child learn is don't put the guy, don't put the toy to the gumboot. You will have a you will have a, then a problem. That's the lesson the child learned and learned quite well. He tried and then they said no 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 okay okay. But if you look at this from Vygotsky's eyes, he is that what the child can cannot do alone, but can do in cooperation and guidance is the zone of proximal development. Mom did not create a zone of proximal development for, for him. She missed the opportunity to support the child development. What the mom should do? Any ideas? That's, that's what I'm always doing. When I'm showing this video to professors, I bring, I bring with me a gumboot, a real gumboot and a real toy. I invite somebody to the stage, we put the gumboot, and then hands in hands, turn around the gumboot, and then again, and then again. Maximum three times. Every child at the age of two, three, immediately understands the way how to solve. But we, we should do it practically together, just hands in hands. One, two, maximum three times. And then the child says, and he begins to play, boom, <laughs> as if. But what, and then generalization. When something small is in something long, the child knows the way, he turns around. The ball into the big was the same. So this is a, this is the child was ready to get to make a step in development. Who was not ready? Mom. <laughs> if mom knows this, mom can notice this and help. But every mom, okay, and or dad, sorry, dads are also important. So every parent has every day with their children many many situations like this. And these many, many situations are not used to support the child development because they don't know how. They have no idea of ZPD. But when they look in the internet, they see ZPD is the distance, ZPD is about learning. But this is what ZPD is because the child intellectually understands the principle of taking something small from something long is just to turn this. This is a very important step in intellectual development. So, and the whole day, the whole life of, of early childhood is a day and life of missing opportunities. Teachers are missing opportunities. Early childhood educators are missing opportunities. Parents are missing opportunities. And I don't want this to continue. In my research, in my study, my PhD students are doing their research on ZPD. They are developing the instructions, the matrix, for how parents and teachers might Notice the, notice the moments of coming to do something with the child. So this is what I'm working for. And I, unfortunately, I have no time to present my research. Maybe next time, if you're interested, and I'm asking, I'm looking at Ahmed, maybe Ahmed will invite me again to show my research about ZPD. But I think for now, by now, it's more than enough for you to understand uh, and answer to the question. Did we get it right? Some people did not get it right. Some people did. That's my answer. And thank you very much for your attention.